Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and before we start this video I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on our latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with the video. So in front of me I have a smartphone stabilizer from Fujitech, 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 you can read it. It's the SPG2 3 axis stabilizes the handheld gimbal for smartphone. Very difficult pronunciation, but hey, it's a gimbal. Quick start guide, it can be handy. And a warranty card, like in Chinese probably. Why did, why did I get an envelope? So you have the interface, the joystick, function, buttons, then the roll axis, the tilt axis, the cross arm, smartphone holder, knob ring, all that stuff. Uh, battery on the Bottom micro USB charge port, smartphone, cross arm, knob ring, power on, off, and all that stuff. So it can uh, tilt 320 degrees, roll 320 degrees, pan 360 degrees, then tilting speeds and usage time in theory is 14 hours, which is a lot. So this is the gimbal over here. It's a black gimbal, as you can see. Looks nice, it looks nice. Black, I really like black. What else do we get? We get a micro USB cable for charging. You get the one connection, the micro USB connection, and then the other side is, for example, a iPhone lightning connector, a regular um, micro USB as well, and USB-C, which is very nice. So I'm going to connect this. You get the USB connection over here. Uh, you even have an auxiliary input. Uh, what else do we get? This is some kind of mini tripod. If you really want to put this on a tripod, you can do it like this. Uh, on the bottom you have the battery, if you open this slot up you can see that there's a battery in here. You can just put it in like this, which is weird that you can uh, take out the battery. The typical uh, Chinese product I think. So there's an app you can download, the Viku, Viku app. So let's turn this on. If I keep pressing this button it will turn on, as you can see, and it's already turned on. Ooh, that's weird. Should not be doing this, my friend. That's dangerous. So never hold a stabilizer over here. So for now, you can see that it has a tiny LCD screen over here which uh, shows battery life, uh, function, Bluetooth, and all that stuff. All right, so this is connected. And now I am filming with, I'm not filming as of yet, but it is connected, as you can see, inside the uh, Feiju app. You can see me over here, what's up, what's up, what's up? Right, so um, what can you do with this? Uh, you can change Bluetooth over here, I know. So, like this. So you can change the remote control, joystick settings, horizontal calibration, auto rotation mode, scene as well. So normal mode, smooth mode or motion mode and a firmware upgrade. 1080p 30 frames per second, which it is right now on my camera as well. But you can change that if you want to. Slow motion settings, camera settings, all that stuff. Your microphone as well, you can change that as well. Your ISO, you can, ch you can even change the ISO, which is actually Really wicked. Put the ISO on 200. So I can see that this is not completely flush right now. So with the back one, I can change this up a little bit. I can even put it like this or like this, as you can see. So I'm going to put it right. Now I can start filming myself. So I'm now filming myself with the uh, gimbal stabilizer over here. You can see me as you can see. You can see me as you can see. Like, where is the. Where is the lens? Oh, the lens over, over there, okay. Um, so this is Simon uh, from the Red Ferret. I'm uh, filming this with a gimbal and it's it's very flush, uh, no issues with it. So I can do this, this, this. I have a weird issue, like when I do this, you see that? But it's probably because I did something with this one. Let's turn, it, turn this a little bit. All right, so I fixed that problem. I, I, I did something weird because of the size of my phone. Uh, it did some weird stuff. Uh, okay, so I can change the mode if I want to. Guess who's back, back, back again, again. <sighs> All right, my camera died, so it's been a couple of days and I'm back. I've tried this out in the meanwhile and I'll give you my thoughts on this device. 
So the stabilizer comes with an app and that's the Fuji On app as you can see here where you have to um, click the name of the stabilizer. So for me it's the SPG2 and it's connected and you get a very good overview actually on what you can do. So uh, you can uh, remote control, joystick settings, everything on the here. You get your time-lapse settings, slow motion video settings, camera settings. You can even have a watermark, a grid. You can adjust your white balance, your ISO and your manual focus over here. And then you also have, which is very interesting, the different modes for the gimbal. So uh, you have the lock mode, the pan follow, the pan tilt and follow and the all follow. Um, so let's just do the lock mode. So now it's on lock mode and you'll see the difference. So I can just turn this, go like this. And it's locked, as you can see, in the same place, so it won't change. That's the lock mode. This is the pan follow mode, which is, of course, a bit different. As you can see, if I turn, it follows. So the pan follow mode, so it follows wherever I go. Then you also have the pan and tilt mode. As you can see, it tilts as well, and it pans and it tilts. Which is very handy, otherwise you'll have to do this with this knob. So pan and tilt like this. So this is the previous one, it doesn't pan as you can see, it stays in the same position but it turns together with this thing. Then the last one is all follow, um, it's a bit weird to get used to this one <laughs> because as you can see it really is all follow, it really follows every movement you do. That's a bit weird for a stabilizer in my opinion but it does work if you're looking for something like this but as you can see it's already it. And you have this mode button in the middle which will change the function of the gimbal. So right now it's on uh, follow mode as you can see. If I press again it will do follow all I think. Oh no, it's a uh, lock mode. Yeah, okay. Lock, so LK is lock. You can of course also use the joystick as you can see. Which can be very handy in some cases. Alright, but you want to see what this thing can do, of course. One thing I noticed is that the difference in quality with the gimbal app was slightly worse than with your regular iPhone app. I don't know if it's because I uploaded it to YouTube for a video and that it processed it differently, uh, but I, th I thought it was a bit worse, so I'm going to film this with the regular iPhone app. So this is uh, the front camera. I'm going to walk around so you can see uh, what I'm doing. So this is just the uh, follow mode, so it's, it just follows left and right as you can see, but not up or down. But if I want to go down, I can uh, turn the knob on the side, as you can see, or I can use the joysticks, or one joystick at least. So it's raining outside as you can see, and it's very smooth, really smooth. So I can jump, I'm jumping right now, and as you can see, no jiggling, no uh, bumping, nothing weird like that. This is the recording, so I can easily walk through here. Go to the camera over here. You can see, and it, it, it works very smooth. Whee! Very smooth. Right? Now this is the front camera, this is actually to see if you could use this for uh, da daily vlogging for example, if there are vloggers out there watching this video, um, this could be a good uh, device to use for daily vlogging, so if I put it a bit further, I'm not really a daily vlogger, so I don't really know how you daily vlog, but uh, imagine walking around somewhere like um, I'm... I'm I'm on the London High Street and la 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 I'm walking around la 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 As you can see, it's very smooth. Um, it, it doesn't jitter or it doesn't um, bump and all that, all those th those things. It, it's really smooth, but it's, it's a bit difficult for me to get the hang of it to keep my face in the frame. But as you can see, very, very smooth. Ooh, it's... It's getting a bit heavy in my arms. So let's change arm. You didn't even notice that. I just changed arms. Uh, but as you can see, um, the quality is okay. This is filmed with an uh, iPhone XR. And uh, imagine doing this um, with an external 
microphone so you get better microphone quality and having some lights in front of you so as you can see right now i'm just going to put it on the table and let's adjust it with the joystick and as you can see this is actually wow this is actually a pretty cool setup i should use this more for videos so this is now my setup so let's get in the middle right, i'm going i want to be on the table on this chair like this so let's do it a little bit higher right it's pretty cool so a, bit, a little bit more over there and now i'm actually just uh, filming myself a bit lower yes that's it's very 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 handy very cool very convenient would you look at that this is just filming with a mobile device with an iPhone XR. There are some studio lights over there so you can see the difference in light when I do this. That's because it's a phone, of course. But imagine doing this with um, a microphone, which I'm going to switch to right now. So right now I'm talking via uh, a blue microphone, the blue icicle, um, or not, no, the blue, blue Spark SL, I think it is with the blue icicle. You don't need to know this. Um, but as you can see, that's actually pretty neat. I'm very easily filming this with the stabilizer. Of course, I'm not holding the stabilizer right now, but this is a very good frame. I have the blue background, I have the lights, I have the microphone, and it's really like a professional setup for not a lot of money because you already have a phone. And if I wanna go out or if I wanna walk with this, instead of using a tripod which, which will shake and, and do everything it doesn't need to do, you just do this. And you didn't even notice I picked it up, so right now it's picked up. And it's very smooth. This Fuji Tech SPG2 gimbal costs around $180, which is not a lot of money for a gimbal this caliber. Um, it's, it's, it works very well, it's full metal, it's a metal build. It's pretty sturdy, it has some flaws, like for example the USB port over here which is a bit flimsy as you can see that's that's a bit annoying but it has a lot of cool features up its sleeve these buttons are a bit flimsy as well mm, yeah but overall um, as you could see from the test footage it follows very well it tracks very well uh, you also get this tripod in the box which I didn't show yet so um, I've already put it on the table a couple of minutes ago but you can also put it on the table with a tripod doesn't really make any difference for me but for some people it might be a bit easier to put it on the table with this small tripod one thing i find a bit weird is that you can take out the battery that's probably something you can do with most of these chinese products uh, but hey the app works very well although i found that it had a bit of quality loss i Thought. I, I'm not really sure, but I think it has a bit of quality loss. Um, so I use my regular app, um, which works perfectly fine, of course. But yeah, it works for every uh, size device. This is a bit flimsy, but it connects very well, so that's okay. And I have a tripod at my work as well, which I film with every week, um, which costs around the same amount of money. It's also from a Chinese brand. I really don't know which brand and I thought this one was way better because the other one had some uh, buzzing sound it made some buzzing noises in certain positions for example if I did this it made a buzzing sound which is very annoying because your uh, screen vibrates this one doesn't do that and this is this one is a bit smoother in my opinion so yeah the SPG2 from Fuji Tech very good gimbal really impressed by um, the build quality and by the video quality it performs, so the video quality it makes with stabilizing all the footage. Very good, very crisp and very fluid and smooth as well. All right, I think I covered almost every button on here. Um, it might be that I didn't cover one or two. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below and I'll be very, very glad to help you with them. If you enjoyed this review, give a thumbs up down below. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down and let us know why so we can improve our videos in the future. And I hope I'll see you, yes, you who's watching this behind your phone or behind your computer screen. I don't know. In our next video, bye-bye.